Attention all campers, attention all campers, church is about to begin. Welcome to the great outdoors, but also Pignaz Kids Online. I am so glad that we are together for Kids Church this morning. I have a great morning plan for us. I'm going to share with you a very fun water balloon game. Heidi and Brecken are having a camp out and they're going to share with us a really cool camping snack. We're going to dive into God's Word, and we're going to learn a very important parable of Jesus. And we can't forget about the singing. So why don't you stand up with me, and let's get singing and worshiping the Lord this morning.
Philippians 2.15 So that no one can criticize you. Live clean, innocent lives as children of God, shining like bright stars in a world full of crooked and evil people. Hey guys, it's Miss Heidi, and welcome back to my backyard. I hope you all had a great week and had a chance to maybe catch some yummy fish and possibly make sushi. This week, Brecken and I decided to have a camp out, but first, I have to set up this tent. So, follow me, and I'm gonna okay, get started. Guys, I'm ready, I have my tent all laid out, and I'm ready to put it together. But I have a few tools here, and you know, when I watched my dad put up a tent, he had a hammer, and he had these anchor things. I don't think I need those. I have these sticks to put it together. That's what I'm gonna use. So, let me get started. I'm in my tent and I'm so excited to get our camp out going tonight and I feel so safe and I feel like it's, this has just got a good foundation. Who needed those clips to hold the foundation in? Not us. Oh, oh, hey guys. Well, that didn't work out so well. You know, there might just be something to that building a strong foundation thing. I better go find my tools and build this thing right. Woo! So I got the tent up. It's got a firm, solid foundation, and I am sure it is going to be a fun, safe camp out for Bracken and myself. But we don't want to camp out alone. We want you to come along with us. So why don't you come over tonight and see what snack we have for our camp out. See you then, bye. Hi everybody, I'm so glad you're back with us at our camp out and Brecken and I are in our tent and we're ready to get our snack on. And the snack we're gonna make tonight is a Lego snack cracker. So what you will need for the Lego snack, snack cracker are club crackers, you can see that club crackers, and spray cheese, ooh, fun and then a plate. I'm gonna hold the plate for Brecken and I'm gonna tell her how to make these. So, I've got the plate here. You grab a cracker, put it on the plate, and then I'll get the cap for you. Here is the spray cheese. And she's just gonna make six dots right on the cracker with the spray cheese and make it look like a Lego. A little bit more about Legos and how they are made to build toy structures but like our tent if you do not build a Lego house on a firm foundation it's gonna fall 
And the same goes for us in life. We need to build our lives on a solid rock. So I'm gonna pass you back to Miss Tiffany and she's gonna tell you all about a solid rock that you will want to build a firm foundation on. I wanna thank you for watching and I hope you all have a great week. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much, Heidi and Brecken. You guys always make things so much fun. Well, as you can see, I am in my tent too. And it just got me thinking a little bit about my husband and he loves to camp. Really anything to do with being outside, but especially loves to camp. And he recently went camping and one of the things he was telling me about was making sure that before he does anything, he has to find the perfect campsite where he's gonna lay everything. And that has to do with finding a good level ground and a good foundation because you don't want in the middle of the night to roll down a hill or to have your ground start sinking while you're sleeping. That wouldn't be any fun. And so one of his number one survival camping tips is to make sure that he has a good foundation and a level ground. And that goes perfectly with our story, Bible story for today. So if you grab your Bible and open up to the book of Matthew chapter seven, we're gonna start with verse 24 and read through verse 27. So let's take a look at what the scriptures say to us today. Stories of the Bible. The Parable of the Two Builders. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey gosh. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. He asked them, why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the floodwaters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right, hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh-oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. What I love about Jesus's parables is that they were little stories that he would teach his followers, but they had a much, much bigger meaning. And Jesus told this particular parable because the people were listening to what Jesus was teaching, but they weren't doing what they were being taught. And so Matthew 7 teaches us that true wisdom comes from trusting in him and his word. If we build our lives, on the basis of God's truth, the rock, then we will be able to stand firm when the storms of life come our way. If our foundation is built on our own worldly desires and our own wisdom, then we are gonna fail when we are tested. I'm gonna play this song for you and you can sing along. It's maybe a familiar one for some of you, or you can just listen to the words, but pay close attention, especially when it talks about how we wanna build our lives on the firm foundation that is in Jesus, our only hope. So let's take a look at this song.
Jesus, thank you for being our firm foundation on which we are to build our lives. Help us to trust you in all that we do and give us the wisdom needed to live each day like you. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Hello, everybody. I will see you next week.